Well, EA, you did it again. Somehow, some way, you can't seem to keep a good track record in the monetization space in gaming. Like, I don't understand it. You do so well at one point, and then you just completely shit on the entire community and just offered new ways to make paid games a much more terrible experience for everyone. Now, I'm more than happy to pay 60, 70, 80 dollars for a video game, whatever it takes. I mean, hell, I bought some collector's editions in anywhere from 100 to 300 dollars, whatever it may be. I bought custom consoles for four or 500 dollars, whatever it is. But the moment that you start taking the mobile monetization platform and throw it into the traditional $60 paid gaming experience. This isn't like you're going and trying to watch a Twitch ad to try and get a couple of biddies, right? This is straight up, oh, you're gonna pay X amount of dollars for UFC, right? The brand new UFC game coming out later this year or whenever it comes out, I don't even really know because I don't care. I've, I've pretty much given up on sports games. I've given up on EA as a whole. The fact that, that I actually pay for their subscription model is only because there's one or two games a year that I want to play, and I, I know I can play it on that. So they get my money every single year, but I refuse to sit there and just straight out buy an EA game anymore because why? There's nothing out there. Even Star Wars, what is it, The Fallen Order or whatever the heck, a Jedi Fallen Order? That was the best thing that EA has put out in quite some time. And it was near perfection. They've kind of strayed away from that crazy monetization loot box crap. But then again, at the same time, the EA sports stuff, those sports gamers are always used to getting shit on, right? That's just the way things are. And now we're getting to the point of, oh, you want to go ahead and try and play that next chapter of Star Wars? Well, guess what? You get to watch this lovely 30 second ad or 60 second ad or whatever it may be. I'm sorry. I just paid $60 for a game and you're going to sit there and make me watch something because I might get some little extra bonus or currency or something to go ahead and help me out inside the game. Um, I'm sorry. It's one thing to sit there and straight up charge for in-game currency. Like the, uh, let's use the division for an example, buying the premium credits using those credits to go ahead and buy in-game cosmetics and things like that. Whatever, I'm down for that. That's fine. The loot box system is very, very shady. I'm not a huge fan of it, and that's written all over EA Sports, 110%. And that's never gonna change. But now the fact that you wanna sit there and try and add advertising into, let's say, um, the newest Need for Speed, or the next Star Wars game, or the next Titanfall, if that ever comes around, or even in Apex Legends. Think of all of the brand marketing that they could throw into Apex Legends while waiting for a map to load, or while you're waiting to drop in. There could be like a random little pop-up on your screen right there, and it'll go, ooh, check out this new advertisement for Lucky Charms or Fruit Loops or some shit. Why? I'm sorry, this is not and if they're going to start offering like an additional paid, imagine if like you bought the season pass, right? For a game. Oh, you get no ads with the season pass. You know how much it's going to piss people off if they go that route? I don't know. This is, um, it's a really weird thing. And I get that advertising and gaming is something that is going to happen. And as long as it's not too intrusive, I don't have a problem with it. But when you start taking the things that are really meant for a free to play experience and start throwing them into a $60 paid experience, then I got a problem. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think advertising has no place in gaming or do you think it has a place as long as it's not intrusive or if you have an opportunity to go ahead and earn extra currency or do you think like a paid extra tier of, oh, you got the deluxe edition, you get no ads, or you get the ad free edition. Like just think of, just think of that for a minute, $10 more and you get an ad free edition of the game. That's the deluxe edition of the game, right? It's ad free. I don't know. I, I just think EA is making a big mistake and they're making a bigger hole for themselves in the community than they already have over the past, I'd say 10 years or even I, I'll go back to like 2000. I'll give them a break. 2015. We'll go back that far. All right. We'll stay within this console generation before we jump to the next one. I don't know. With the possibility of the next generation platforms being way more PC-like than ever before, 
and having way more compatibility and just the the advertising opportunities on those things are, are going to be ridiculous. I don't know. Thought off down below. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think this is dumb to talk about? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think EA can just pretty much suck a big one and start making games rather than trying to sit there and make a dollar and penny pinch every single little thing out of somebody you can? I don't know. I'm Insanity, guys. Thank you all for checking everything out. Like if you haven't. Sub if you're new. If you're a channel member, you should be seeing your name here at the end. If you want to go ahead and join and become a channel member yourself, you can click that join button. Thank you all very much. And I will see you all in the next one. EA, you done f***ed up again.